An outer Russia's invasion of Ukraine, at least six people have been killed, more than a dozen more injured in a Russian missile strike in the northeastern Ukrainian region of Kharkiv. According to the governor, Oleg Sinogubov, the Russian army struck at least 15 times. Two are currently missing after the attack. He advised people in the cities remain in shelters. Ukraine state railway company said several of its facilities had been damaged. In the attack, and a number of its employees had been injured. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the attacks on Kharkiv show that Russia is taking advantage of Ukraine's lack of air defenses. He called for more air defense missiles and supply of modern fighter jets from his allies. Speaking of aid, the United States is expected to announce an additional $275 million in military package for Ukraine on Friday as Kyiv struggles to hold off advances by Russian troops in the Kharkiv region. It will be the fourth installment of military aid for Ukraine since Congress passed a long-delayed foreign, foreign aid bill late last month and comes as the Biden administration pledges to keep weapons flowing regularly and to get them to the front lines as quickly as possible. According to two U.S. officials who spoke on the condition of anonymity, the package includes high-mobility artillery rocket systems, or HIMARS, as well as 155mm and 105mm high-demand artillery rounds. Russia's attained the deputy head of the Army's General Staff, Lieutenant General Vadim Shemarin, on suspicion of large-scale bribery. It marks the fourth arrest of a high-ranking military official in a month. A military court ordered the General Shemarin be jailed for two months. His attention follows the arrests of other top defense officials as part of an effort to stamp out corruption relating to the awarding of lucrative military contracts. The King of Bahrain, Hamad bin Khalifa, has met with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow. Both held talks, uh, saying it's one of the happiest days of his life. He arrived in Russia on Wednesday as part of a two-day two state visit, making it the first trip to the country in eight years, having last visited in 2016. Both leaders discussed the current state and outlook for Russia, Bahrain Corporation and Trade, the economy, energy and culture, as well as current international issues, including developments in the Middle East. Both countries signed multiple bilateral agreements after the meeting.